Welcome to PBS 39's Scholastic Scrimmage. Scholastic Scrimmage is brought to you by the members of PBS 39 and by... Scholastic Scrimmage is sponsored by St. Luke's University Health Network, the region's leading provider of medical education. For more than 100 years, St. Luke's has been dedicated to educating physicians, nurses, and healthcare professionals. To learn more, call St. Luke's InfoLink, toll free at 866-ST-LUKES, or visit sluhn.org. Support for PBS 39's educational programming is provided by the Deluxe Corporation Foundation. Proud to support quality programming on PBS 39. Scholarships provided by the Air Products Foundation. And now, here's your host, Joe Pacetti. Hello, everyone, and welcome to Scholastic Scrimmage on PBS 39. I'm Joe Pacetti. At the beginning of this new season, our team had to decide what constitutes academic knowledge in 2018, the types of inquiries that we volley at our competitors should be reflective of what a well-rounded, academically inclined student should know today. For those in our audience that have tuned in to our prior two contests of the 2018 season, you've probably noticed some significant changes. Math questions, for example, are now flashed for a fleeting moment on a screen only to flicker out of sight a fraction of a second later once the phrase, the limit does not exist, is uttered. And there are far more questions that reward those contestants with a breadth of knowledge in a number of areas. So with all due respect to Sophocles, knowing things actually does lead to a pretty sweet life. Unless you're Oedipus. I'm pleased to bring you another rousing academic battle royale today between the Deeruf High School Huskies and the Banger High School Slaters. Let's meet the teams and their coaches, and we'll start with Deeruf. Hi, my name is Monty Griggs, and I'm a senior. Hi, my name is Ferris Saeed, and I'm a sophomore. Hello, my name is Claudia Rabia, and I'm a senior. Hi, my name is Michael Gonzalez, and I'm a senior. Deeruf's coach is Chris Bender. <laughs> another team from Banger. Hi, my name is Joshua Pittenger, and I'm a sophomore. Hi, my name is Kyle Mavis, and I'm a senior. Hi, my name is Golner Avi, and I'm a junior. Hi, my name is Donald Baham, and I'm a freshman. Bangers coach is Kara Derry. <laughs> the judges for today's contest are Sally Campbell, Gary DeLeo, and Kathleen Steele. To our audience, this contest requires rapid recall of facts and favors the resolute. Performances on this stage are not necessarily reflective of these students' academic experiences. At the end of the season, the two final teams will win scholarships for their schools from the Air Products Foundation. And remember, it's always easier to be an armchair quiz master than a competitor in this arena. We understand the rules, so let's begin the contest with a toss-up. Sliding objects feel what type of friction that is contrasted with static friction and which shares its name with a type of Dirif? Kinetic friction. Kinetic is correct. Your bonus, pencil and paper ready. What is the cosine of 90 degrees, an angle whose sine equals one? Zero. Zero. Zero is correct. Toss up. What city found at the southern end of Salset Island is the capital of Maharashtra, is home to Bollywood, and is the most populous city in India? Zero. Mumbai. Mumbai is correct. And your bonus. The Jhelum, Chinab, Ravi, Sutlej, and Bias rivers together make up the namesake five rivers of which region shared between India and Pakistan? You can guess. Punjab was the region. Toss up. The successor of Thomas Fairfax as commander of the new model army was what Puritan leader who became England's Lord Protector in 1653? Just like that song by the Smiths with none of you probably know, it's Oliver Cromwell. Toss up. What phenomenon which temporarily, temporarily ceases in slack water has spring and neap variants and is caused by the sun and moon's gravitational pull? Deerif. Tides. Tides is correct in your bonus. What metal, which is sometimes referred to as wolfram, has the highest melting point of any element? Deerf. Titanium. Tungsten was the correct response. Toss up. What country, home to six species of the baobab trees, is inhabited by the Malgase people and is off the southeast coast of mainland Africa? Deerf. Madagascar. Madagascar is correct. In what city, where Philip Melanchthon and Martin Luther were professors, did Luther announce his 95 theses in 1517? Yeah. 
Do Hamburg. Wittenberg. Wittenberg was the correct response. Toss up. What country was home to the author of How to Make Our Ideas Clear, Charles Sanders Peirce, a founder of pragmatism who taught at Johns Hopkins? United States of America or USA would have accepted either one. Toss up. What president, during whose administration the Bonus Army marched on Washington, D.C., failed to win re election in 1932 due to the Great Depression? Dear Um, Truman? Incorrect. The question goes over to Banger. Eisenhower? It was Hoover. Herbert Hoover. Toss up. What author who wrote about Princeton student Amory Blaine in This Side of Paradise used West Egg as the setting for his novel, The Great Gatsby? Dearest. Fitzgerald. Fitzgerald is correct, and your bonus. On May 31st, 1669, what English writer, citing poor eyesight, ended the diary he had kept for nine years? Samuel Pepys was the correct response. Toss up. The Fitzwilliam Museum is part of what university founded in 1209, which is where Sir Isaac Newton taught and which is a rival of Oxford University? Dearest. Cambridge. Cambridge is correct. And your bonus. What dynasty established after the Battle of Mingtao ruled China until about 1046 BC and followed the possibly legendary Xi Dynasty? Song? Shang. Shang Dynasty. Toss up. What optical phenomenon at a 42 degree angle to the anti solar point is caused by the dispersion of sunlight inside water drops following a rainstorm? Dearest. A rainbow. A rainbow is correct. <laughs> Love the way that you said that. Your bonus question. In September 2016, Florida was hit by a hurricane for the first time in more than a decade when what storm damaged Tallahassee? 2016. That was this year, you point. 2016, last year. Hermine was the was the hurricane that we were looking for. Lightning round. Banger. You'll have the first selection. So what I'll do is I'm going to read two different categories. You get to pick one of those categories and answer as many questions as you can in one minute. If you don't know it, please say that you don't know it and that you would like to pass on the question. Okay. The two categories are Earth Regions and Nobel Peace Prize winners. What's the first one? Earth Regions. That one? Yeah, yeah go with Earth Regions. Earth Regions. <laughs> Excellent. By process of elimination. Earth Regions. Name these non-geographic regions of the Earth. Namesake plumes are part of this layer's convection. Layer of the atmosphere that contains the ozone layer. The portion of the Earth that supports life. Correct. Incorrect. The solid central layer of the Earth. Core. In uh, can you be more specific? The Earth's core. Incorrect. Solid layer above the mantle. Crust. Crust is correct. The combined water in, on, and above Earth. Geosphere. Incorrect. Layer where a dynamo generates Earth's magnetic field. Discontinuity that separates crust and mantle. Skip. Lowest layer of the atmosphere. Skip. Okay, and that's all the time that we have for our bonus round for the Earth regions. So, Dirif, that means by process of elimination, you have been awarded Nobel Peace Prize winners. Yeah. Okay. Nobel Peace Prize winners, name the modern day countries where these Nobel Prize winners were born. Aristide Briand. France. Correct. Kofi Annan. Kofi Annan. Skip. An Sung Suu Kyi. Korea. Incorrect. Rigoberta Menchu. 
India. Incorrect. Desmond Tutu. Skip. Malala Yousafzai. Uh, I, I ran. Incorrect. Lester Pearson. The U.S. Incorrect. Ellie Weissel. England. Incorrect. Wangari Mathai. Or Mathai. India. Incorrect. Barack Obama. The U.S. The U.S. Yeah, it's not a trick question. It's the U.S. <laughs> <laughs> Very good. All right, folks. So that's the end of our lightning round. We'll have a second one in our next sequence of questions coming up. So we will continue with a toss-up. What nobleman used wealth from his soap trade and a monopoly on tuna fishing in the Algarve region to sponsor voyages of exploration for Portugal? Dirif. Bartolomeu Diaz. Incorrect. Question goes over to Banger. Marco Polo. Incorrect. Prince Henry the Navigator. That's what we were looking for. Toss up. In May 2017, Ed Murray, mayor of what city, announced that he would not run for re-election despite the growth caused by Starbucks and Amazon? Dirif. San Francisco. Incorrect. Question goes over to Banger. <phone rings> Seattle, Washington, where they're both headquartered. Toss up. What novel featuring the gypsy Melchiades follows many generations of the Buendias in the town of Macondo and was written by Gabriel Garcia Marquez? It's a remarkable book, one of my favorites, 100 Years of Solitude. 100 Years of Solitude. Toss up. What object, described as a candle seen at night through a horn by Simon Marius, is also called M31 and is a galaxy fated to collide with the Milky Way? Andromeda. Andromeda. Toss up. What American city, near which an assault on Rogers Bastion failed in September 1814, withstood a naval attack that used rockets on Fort McHenry? Baltimore was the correct response. Toss up. Andre Breton wrote the manifestos of what art movement that explored dreamlike imagery, such as seen in Salvador Dali's The Persistence, Dirif. Surrealism. Surrealism is correct, and your bonus. What word follows rain to denote a dry region on the leeward side of a mountain range and names an optical phenomenon whose parts include an umbra? Shadows. Shadows. We were looking for shadows. You were still on the rain kick, though. That's good. Just like the rainbow. Toss up. Malarial parasites have a harder time infecting the sickled variety of what kind of cell that contains hemoglobin and may be typed as A, B, AB, or O? Banger. Red blood cells. That is correct. And your bonus. Indiana Senator Dan Quayle was elected vice president in what year in which Michael Dukakis was defeated by the incumbent vice president? Um, 1998. Incorrect, 1988. Just one of those numbers was wrong, that's all. Very close. Toss up. What country's coffee with milk period, which was ended by Getilo Vargas, referred to its oligarchy, supported by business interests from Sao Paulo? Banger. Brazil. Brazil is correct, and your bonus banger. What board game that involves stacking and removing wooden blocks to construct a tower has a name derived from a Swahili verb meaning to build? I think so. Yes. Uh, Jenga? Jenga is correct. That is correct. That brings us to the half. At the half, the score is Dirof 95, Banger 40. 
Now, at the break for each show, we like to talk to our contestants to see if we can get to little, know a little bit more about them. Um, this week, we're going to ask to find out what person, past or present, each of our contenders on stage would have dinner with and why. And we will start with Dirov. Um, I'd have dinner with um, Samuel Barber because he was a phenomenal composer. Um, I'd have dinner with Arnold Schwarzenegger because uh, he's very driven and he achieves anything he wants to. I would like to have dinner with um, my grandmother who passed away recently. I would love to have dinner with Alfred Hitchcock because I love his films. Excellent. Thank you guys. And Banger. I would love to have dinner with Greek philosopher Pythagoras so I can ask why he had such a hatred for irrational numbers. <laughs> Um, I would have dinner with George Washington because he seems like an interesting man. I would have dinner with Gordon Ramsay because he cooks well. I would have dinner with my grandmother because she passed away before I was born. That was wonderful, guys. Thank you, all of you. And, and really, Gordon Ramsay is the one that you would have. You've had no fear of him yelling at you at all. <laughs> no. You think he would be a completely fine dinner guest? He'd be good. I, w I would hope so. I would not do it. I'm, I'm, too, I'm too frightened myself. <laughs> We'll pick that up with a toss-up question. What symphony, which borrows from its composer's Slavonic dances and from Native American music, was inspired by Antonin Dvorak's time in the U.S.? The New World Symphony. New World Symphony. Toss-up. What American poet, who wrote about a bird that pursues its solitary way amidst falling dew in To a Waterfowl, also wrote 1817's Thanatopsis? William Cullen Bryant was the poet. Lightning round! We will begin with the team that selected second last time. Okay, so Dirif, you have a choice between American cities and soda. Oh. You can just tell the guy. Go ahead. American cities. Please. American cities. The guy understands. American cities. Name the most populous city in these U.S. states. Louisiana. New Orleans. Correct. Ohio. Cleveland. Incorrect. Vermont. Yes. Oregon. Correct. Minnesota. Minneapolis. Correct. North Carolina. Charlotte. Correct. Montana. Pass. Nebraska. Connecticut. New Haven. Incorrect. Hawaii. Honolulu. Correct. Okay, that brings us to the end of it. So that means that soda remains. That's a weird thing to say. Soda remains for banger. That's our category. So again, one minute, anybody can buzz in at that time. What brand of soda was invented by John Pemberton in Atlanta? Pepsi. Incorrect was invented in Waco, Texas, and named for a fictional physician. Dr. Pepper. Correct. Is the major lemon-lime competitor to 7-Up in Sierra Mist. Sprite. Correct. Had a clear crystal variety in the early 1990s. Pepsi. Correct. Is a root beer created in 1919 that shares its name with a chain of fast food restaurants. a and w. Correct. Is a brand of ginger ale named for a North American country. Canada Dry. Correct. Is a citrus flavored brand with a code red flavor. Mountain Dew. Disgusting. Is it, but correct. Is a grapefruit flavored diet soda whose name means fresh in Spanish. Fresco. Correct. Is a value brand named after a California mountain. Pass. Is a Mexican product whose name means little jug. Pass. That was all of them. Oh. Very good. The first one was Coca Cola, by the way. The primary competitor, Mr. Pemberton. That's going to bring us back to our toss ups. The explosive TATP is created by mixing hydrogen peroxide with what simplest key, uh, ketone that is the active ingredient of nail polish remover? Uh, wait till I call on you, banger. 
Acetone. Acetone is correct. And your bonus. What structures, which were designed by Cesar Pelli, were the tallest buildings in the world until 2004 and are found in Kuala Lumpur? The Patronus Towers. Patronus Towers. Toss up. Which man secretly met Napoleon III at Plombier, edited Il Risorgimento, and as a Piedmontese and, and as a Piedmontese Prime Minister helped Victor Emmanuel II unify Italy? Cavour. Count Cavour is what we were looking for there. Toss up. What surname is shared by Jamie, who won the 2016 U.S. Open with Bruno Soares, and his brother Andy, who was the 2017 Wimbledon singles champion? Murray was the correct response. Toss up. Pencil and paper ready. If a fair coin is flipped twice, what is the probability that both flips will be the same, either two heads or two tails? Banger. Ah, uh, 50-50. Correct. We will take that. We would have also said one half, 50%. That'll work. And your bonus. In Super Bowl 25, kicker Scott Norwood missed a last-second field goal, leading to the first of four consecutive Super Bowl losses for what team? The Buffalo Bills. That is correct. Go Eagles. The toss-up. In 2017, what country, home to the Moro, uh, the, the Moro Islamic Liberation Front, saw martial law declared on the island of Mindanao and its president, Rodrigo Duterte? The Philippines. Toss-up. What country? led by Prime Minister Lee Kuan Yew for its first 25 years of independence, broke from Malaysia and is a Southeast Asian city-state. Dear Singapore. Singapore is correct, and your bonus. Albertine is unfaithful to the narrator of what multi-volume Marcel Proust novel, which describes an involuntary memory caused by eating a madeleine. Remembrance of things past. Remembrance of things past. Toss up. What poet included freely as men strive for right as an answer to the question, how do I love thee, in a sonnet that she wrote for her husband, Robert? Elizabeth Barrett Browning. Toss up. What woman? who may have fabricated an architecture degree from the University of Slovenia, used parts of a 2008 speech in an address to the 2016 RNC. Dear Melania Trump. That is correct, and your bonus. The concentration of a solution is found by applying what equation after measuring the light absorbed by the solution and its path length? Beer's Law. Beer's Law. It was a while ago, don't worry about it. We all took chemistry a long time ago. Toss up. The El Yunque National Forest is on what island bisected by the Cordillera Central mountain range, which includes the cities of Bayamon and San Juan? Dear. Puerto Rico. Puerto Rico is correct, and your bonus. What American author of Fahrenheit 451 and the Martian Chronicles died in June of 2012? Good, good job on not guessing Faulkner. It was Ray Bradbury. <laughs> Bradbury. Ray Bradbury, that's right. <laughs> Toss up, what TV show that introduced the prosecutor and eventual DA Jack McCoy was created by Dick Wolf and led to the spin-offs Criminal Intent and SVU? Dear Law and Order. Law and Order is correct. And your bonus, what book discusses Irma's injection, describes the manifest and latent content of the title events, and was written by Sigmund Freud? Some sort of psychoanalysis thing. Analysis. I have no idea. 
the interpretation of dreams. Toss up. What author of Commentaries on the Gallic War was a member of the First Triumvirate alongside Pompey and Crassus and was killed on the Ides of March? Julius Dear, Caesar. Could you repeat that? Julius Caesar. Julius Caesar is correct. And your bonus. What was the name for the forced labor camps where prisoners were sent during the regime of Joseph Stalin? Gulags. Only the captain can respond. Gulags. Gulags is correct. Toss up. What river, whose tributaries include the Marne, is crossed by the Pont Neuf, empties into the English Channel at Le Havre, and flows past Paris? The Seine is the river. Toss up. What English metropolis where a May 2017 terrorist attack targeted an Ariana Grande concert is home to a soccer club known as Dirif. Manchester. Manchester is correct. Then your bonus. What Jewish American author wrote Goodbye Columbus, The Plot Against America, and Portnoy's Complaint? <laughs> Roth was the one that we were looking for. Philip Roth. Toss up. Aldo Romer used eclipses of Jupiter's moons to estimate what physical quantity that equals nearly three times 10 to the eighth meters. Dirif. The speed of light. That is correct, and your bonus. A popular subsection of Reddit is dedicated to a type of interview called an AMA, which stands for what phrase? AMA. Oh. Ask me anything. Ask me anything is correct. Not me personally, but on the Reddit feed. Absolutely, that's great. <laughs> the final score for today's contest is Deerhoof 235, Banger 140. Let's have a hand to our teams. <laughs> it's always a pleasure to watch the best and the brightest showcase their immense talents, and we wish Banger the best of luck in their academic endeavors. On behalf of Scholastic Scrimmage and PBS 39, thank you for your continued support and viewership. Though they may be at times teams of rivals, one truth remains, you can't beat brains. Scholastic Scrimmage is brought to you by the members of PBS 39 and by... Scholastic Scrimmage is sponsored by St. Luke's University Health Network, the region's leading provider of medical education. For more than 100 years, St. Luke's has been dedicated to educating physicians, nurses, and healthcare professionals. To learn more, call St. Luke's InfoLink, toll free at 866-ST-LUKES, or visit sluhn.org. Support for PBS 39's educational programming is provided by the Deluxe Corporation Foundation. Proud to support quality programming on PBS 39. This program is recorded at the PPL Public Media Center at PBS 39 in Bethlehem.